Yat eh, and welcome to Four Directions of Wellness. I'm Roberta Diswood. Tulpahanishle, Sisakani Bashishin, Nakai Dinet Dishiche, Hanani Dishanele. The Shiprock Public Health Nursing Department exists to help communities, families, and individuals live to their fullest potential. Their motto is Advocates of Communities and Harmony. With us to explain how public health nursing accomplishes this mission is Lieutenant Melindy Caboni. Thank you, Melindy, for being here today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yat e Melindy Caboni yena she ta chini nashle kinsle chini bushes chini toda chini dasha che toda chini dasha nella. I am a public health nurse. I've been working in the public health nursing department for four years, and I have been a nurse for twenty years. Well, again, thank you for being here today. Um, in the introduction I gave, the mission of the Shiprock Public Health Nursing Department. Um, can you explain in further detail what this mission is and the purpose of the PHN department? We are an extension of the hospital and we focus on disease prevention and promote community health and safety. Mm -hmm. And our patient is a community as a whole. Um, typically a nurse will have one to four patients, but mm -hmm. our focus is on the community. And so what areas do public health nursing serve? Public Health Nursing Department serves a, a vari wide variety area. Uh, we also have Public Health Nursing um, in areas of DZ and Red Mesa. Okay, and in what area do you serve? I serve North Shiprock and that extends from the uh, Shiprock Police Department all the way to the state line. My team um, covers far from Shiprock to Farmington, including Waterflow, Fruitland, and Kirtland. Okay, and so public health nursing is a part of the Community Health Service Division. Um, what are the community health responsibilities? We have several nurses who focus on several different uh, disease prevention. One of our nurses focuses on STI, which is sexually transmitted infections, and she collaborates with the tribal um, STI technician and she oversees their program. She also follows up on the patients and makes sure that the, the patient and their partner receives treatment and she also performs home visits mm -hmm. and she also attends meetings. Um, her main focus is to uh, decrease uh, STI rates and she'll also do education to prevent uh, STI. Oh, okay. And how about some of the other things that you guys have? Uh, we have a nurse covering epidemiology. Uh, she tracks um, cases, reportable cases to uh, the state, and we also do state investigations, um, including diseases such, such as um, Campy, Lobacter, Salmonella, Hepatitis A, and she also monitors any outbreaks in the community or the surrounding area that our service unit covers. We also have a, um, an emergency preparedness nurse, which is me, and I do education to the community and also serve on the incident management team for the hospital. So um, I try to help the community prepare for disasters such as man-made disasters, natural disasters, um, educate them like we're in the winter season. So uh, try to tell them to prepare for uh, winter with having stockpile of wood and coal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the weather makes the roads impassable. So they need to have at least three days of food and water mm -hmm. on hand to prepare for those times where they can't um, travel. Mm -hmm. And then as far as like, um, do you guys focus on like the elderly or the children? We see uh, from newborn all the way to elderly, so, um, and in between. Mm -hmm. And um, how about with the um, tuberculosis? We have a nurse who covers the tuberculosis. Uh, she tracks down the patients who have tuberculosis and she collaborates with the technician that works for the tribe and they'll do in-home direct observe therapy to make sure patients are taking their tuberculosis medications. Okay, and you also have nurse specialists. Um, what areas do they specialize in? We have two nurses. Uh, one of them is the adolescent diabetes educator, and he goes out into the schools and uh, sees patients who are who have diabetes or who are at risk for diabetes. And he also does um, um, engages in activities with them, such as rafting 
or um, ropes course and also a week-long camp mm -hmm. so that they can um, be active. Mm -hmm. And then as far as the other nurse specialist? The other nurse specialist is our lactation specialist and she goes out and does home visits on uh, mothers who have a uh, first child and she also focuses on educating if they're having problems with breastfeeding and mothers who uh, have gestational diabetes during their pregnancy. She also offers skills to employees of Northern Navajo Medical Center so that we can continue to be baby friendly and she also assists in making policies for breastfeeding. Wow, okay. And along with community health responsibilities, the PHN department also has four um, community health priorities. Can you explain what these are? Uh, one of them is disease prevention. We're always educating on disease prevention so that we don't have any outbreaks. Um, one of them is um, we're in the flu season, so we want to prevent flu um, from occurring here in this area and having a mass amount of people having the flu and come to the hospital. So we uh, will educate on hand washing to prevent spreading of germs and also advocating patients and getting their influenza vaccine. And then also um, you mentioned um, immunizations and emergency preparedness. Mm -hmm. Are those some that, some that you cover? Yes, so our team uh, will have immunization blitz. Um, we'll um, go out to our communities that we serve and make home visits. If their child is delinquent in immunizations, we'll let the parents know and we'll encourage them to get their immunizations updated. And um, will you do that to keep our immunization rates up? Mm -hmm. and? Um, prevent disease outbreaks like hepatitis A um, that people are hearing about and mm -hmm. measles. And the other one is emergency preparedness. Um, we make sure that the, par the patients are having, have enough wood and coal. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the elders, they don't have family support. They don't have the means of transportation to haul wood. So we do have resources and reach out to to them and help them prepare for the winter and make sure that they, they have that so that they're not um, in the cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know one of the things you got, you guys definitely t touch on education and everything that you guys do. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of education in the community. We go to the chapter houses, we go to the health fairs um, and go out to events like the Northern Navajo Fair and do education on a lot of topics such as drink water instead of soda and sugary drinks. We want to prevent foodborne illness and make sure they're preparing and storing their food properly so that they're not getting sick from food that it has been um, not cooked properly or they're not on ice if they're at potlucks. Wow, you guys really do a lot. Um, so to end the show, I'd like to um, have you take us along on a typical work day for the public health nurse. Um, what does that look like and what does it involve? A typical work day would be to receive referrals from the clinic. Um, it could be um, to check on a, a patient who just got discharged from a hospital or a patient who uh, has new medication and they need education on that a patient who may have been newly diagnosed as a, having diabetes and just making sure they understand what their medications are and, and educating them on nutrition as well. Uh, we might be going out and doing um, education at their chapter house or we might have a, a referral from their community health representative. We collaborate with them a lot and they might see a patient and uh, refer us to see their patient if they are worried about that. Um, we also do um, education at in Farmington. Um, we'll go out and do um, education like such as the uh, Halloween uh, trunk or treat mm -hmm. and make sure that the kids know to check their candy or to make sure you know they exercise for the right amount of candy they're eating <laughs> just to prevent obesity, um, diabetes, so uh, just whatever the community needs or wants, we'll have uh, calls and saying, can you come over here and 
and do some education. We'll also go to the Head Starts and the schools and provide education there on anything from brushing your, their teeth to hand washing. Wow, okay. Well, again, I want to thank you for being here. This has been Four Directions of Wellness. How going it?